In this short video, we will go over how to set up a Taylor Stud Welding Systems i12 controller. Having set up the controller in an appropriate location and connected it to a suitable main supply, connect the welding earth cable to the controller, insert the plug and twist until it locks. Next, connect the welding pistol. Again, twist the welding plug until it locks. The control plug is keyed for insertion and has an external locking ring. Switch on the controller and observe the startup sequence. Once the display is ready, the controller can be set by pressing the adjust knob and selecting either change or load from the menu. Select change and press the knob. The first setting displayed is current. Use the adjuster to set the value required, press the knob again to lock the value in and move on to the next variable. The final variable is gas. In this example, we're not using a shielding gas, so the value is left or set to zero. The next stage is to set up the pistols for welding. Here we have a DA8A pistol which we are going to set up to weld short cycle or CD type studs. The first step is to choose the stud to be welded and select an appropriate chuck. Fit the stud into the chuck and push it all the way in. Using the backstop on the chuck, adjust the position of the stud until a gap of approximately 5mm can be seen between the flange on the stud and the leading edge of the chuck. Insert the chuck backstop first into the lock nut on the pistol Press the chuck fully home and secure it in position using the chuck key provided. The next step is to zero the pistol lift. This is achieved by turning the rear end cap adjuster on the pistol to the fully anti-clockwise position. Then placing the pistol in position against a flat surface and holding it there. Turn the pistol adjuster clockwise until you feel resistance. At this point, further adjustment will start to lift the pistol away from the surface. This is the zero lift position. With the pistol zeroed, we can now set the lift to 1mm. Do this by turning the pistol adjuster anti-clockwise one full turn or two clicks. The pistol is now ready to weld. Position the pistol at the location to be welded and pull the trigger. This video is brought to you by Taylor Stud Welding Systems Limited. Thanks for watching.